Hello and welcome back to IT Security Labs and in this video we're going to be showing you how to run OpenVerse. If you're wondering what is OpenVerse, it's a vulnerability scanner. So what this does is if you are a network administrator, a security engineer or a penetration tester or a bad guy, everybody uses this tool to scan a network or a host or a machine to find vulnerabilities. It's very simple to set up and I'm going to show you in this lab how to set it up from scratch in Kali Linux and we're going to scan our network for any vulnerabilities. If you have been on this channel, you already know that we have Metasploitable 2 installed in our lab. I powered off our security onion for today because we don't need it, but it will also be fun if you have enough resources on your computer to fire up security onion. So you can see security onion ideas pick up uh, these scans but for the purpose of our lab we're going to run our metasploitable 2 our Kali linux and in this case we're going to need internet on our pfsense for the first part so i went ahead and enabled net here just so we can download uh, our open verse and after that let's just go ahead and start the lab I think this is a very fun lab and um, if you're following along uh, this will be great practice and as you already know this is how we are going to get uh, these much needed um, cyber security skills so right now I'm already in my Kali Linux as you can see I tested my internet connectivity by pinging Google it doesn't seem to be working right now which uh, I'm curious what's going on here Okay, so we got that. Can you ping our PFSense? So I'm just troubleshooting my internet connectivity here. Why? So I can get to PFSense, but can I get to Google? Okay, looks like I can get there. That's good. So let's go ahead and open a browser here in our Kali. So this is what uh, the OpenVerse project uh, folks say. It's called the Greenborn Networks. Really good project. You can pay for OpenVerse or you can actually use the open source. We're going to be using the open source version today. But go ahead and read about what, what's, what it's all about and I'll have a link to it. But what we are going to do is we're going to scan our network for any vulnerabilities. This will help you make a good decision on whether to patch those vulnerabilities if you can and also protect the bad guys before protect your network before the bad guys actually find out what's going on in your network so this is you as a network engineer security administrator or penetration tester being proactive in finding out about vulnerabilities in your network before the bad people actually do so i have actually run this in the real world so this is not just a fun lab it's also a very practical auditors suggest that you run this in a virtual machine open can be installed on kali linux like we're going to do today you can also run an appliance i think um, if you can go to their website you can run a virtual appliance you can install it in windows you can install it in ubuntu any linux so it's quite uh, a very versatile tool so let's go ahead and install in our Kali. We're just going to follow the instructions that they give us here. They want us to update and upgrade. Uh, I already did that. So let's go ahead and just uh, install. So just up to get install OpenVerse. So the easiest is just copy and paste these com commands. It's, you don't have to be typing all, all this stuff. And agree. Yes. Uh, zoom in. Just making this bigger so you can see and it's installing this shouldn't take too long and our next step should be to run the setup so while this is installing in the background let me tell you why we're doing this you if you want to learn cyber security from scratch I think the best way is to do it on your own time in your own house in a safe lab environment research things that you're interested in learn those things on your own time i think that's the best way that's why i started this channel 
so if you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe we actually go on indeed.com on job boards we talk to employers and find out what they're looking for and vulnerability scanning is one of the skills that i found out that employers really value and i've also used so if you follow this channel along with me and lab along with me you're going to learn a few tools and there are also a few skills that when you go to look for a job especially that is something to do with it security you won't realize that you have something to say during the interview you can talk about your labbing process how you learn things so this is one of them so now we can just go ahead and uh, follow our instructions next is open verse setup i've seen that sometimes we don't have to run this setup depending on uh, your setup in Kali, but we're just going to do it here. So once, it, once it's done installing, you'll see that it will say user created with password and the password is going to be random for everyone and this is mine right here. So we can go ahead and say co copy that password. Uh, let's open a browser here. It should automatically launch this page for you if it doesn't just go to localhost on port 9392 username is admin and our password we just uh, copied it from the terminal so make sure you keep that password safe and go ahead and log in so once we are in as you can see this is our home dashboard You will not have this data. I just already have done this. We ran one scan, but um, what we need to make sure is let's check our metasploitable IP address and make sure that we can actually scan this machine. So this is going to be our target machine. It's going to be, uh, as you can see, if you do an IPA here, our IP address is 10.10.10.18. So going back to Kali, just to show if you go to scans this is how you create new scans scans tasks I already have one that I started but for you to start a new one just go ahead and click new task on this little star and from here you can name your, your task Right, made us play with two scan. You have to hit this little star here and actually name it again. Uh, two. Here you want to put your IP address. As you saw, our IP address is 10.10.10.18. .10 .10 .10 right? That's manual. If you have a list of hosts, though, the easiest would be just to do from file and upload them I prefer to keep uh, the default here was you just get most of the information and then from there just go ahead and hit create so this will take less than a minute to create this new target that you are putting in again this is your target machine that you want to find out about the vulnerabilities or any other table machine so once you're done, you get your metasploitable down here. It will show right here. Then all you have to do is hover to actions and hit scan. Start. This will start the scan. Let's actually just do it again. You start by saying requested. Then after a while, it will go. It will start having percentages right here from one to a hundred and when it's done you get your reports so for the sake of time just make sure that you go up here and choose to refresh every 30 seconds and what this will do is is I'll show you in a couple minutes here the progress will be ref refreshed every two seconds here so as you can see down here we have our progress right now we're at one percent and just let it run all the way to 100 it might take five minutes depending on how fast your machine is or maybe 20 minutes
but mine took less than five minutes so i'm assuming yours will do the same once it's done the most interesting thing is is the report just click on the reports here let's see if we can see my previous reports of what i ran against metasploitable as you can see i got a report and let's just dig down into these uh, results quick as you can see um the scan results are ranked from high medium low logs and this is this is just classifying the severity of this high mean mean meaning they are really bad so let's go ahead and just um open the report and see what's going on in there you can also look at these graphs as you can see to see what's going on but let's just take a look at our results so right here are the results as you can see we have <laughs> 393 and end of life detection this is all the vulnerabilities that are on our machine uh, postgres weak password uh, vnc brute force login so these are all the vulnerabilities that are on our machine so let's just op open um, the postgres uh, root password quick and see what's going on there so this is a result as you can see it was it was possible to log in as user postgres with password po postgres it tells us right away the vulnerability that we are actually facing so if I go to my Metasploitable to try to log into our Postgres, I'll be able to use the password Postgres. And the good thing about this is it tells me change the password as soon as possible. So if you run this in your network, you, you'll be able to see these uh, actual results. So this is just an example of what we can see by running our machine uh, OpenVAS or OpenVAS as I call it. And as you can see our metasploitable machine is very very vulnerable i mean there's a lot of things that you can find here ssh weak mark algorithm i mean this is just insane let's check one more oh this is also high the service is misconfigured so it's so it is allowing connections without a password i mean you want to know this information if you are running a network and you are responsible for systems and for the most part this machine you want to run on a schedule in your network then you just visit these reports and see if someone misconfigured a server without your knowledge or if someone plugged in a machine that is running windows xp for example so this is really good information that you can find by running open vas or open vas that's it from this video i'll be showing you more uh in the next video we're going to find a, run another vulnerability assessment uh tool that is nessus we're going to compare nessus to openvs and see uh what we can find but in later videos we'll also be uh, practicing our skills on our machine as you can see we have a lot of vulnerabilities here we'll be doing uh, cross-site scripting we'll be doing uh SQL injection I mean, uh, there will be a lot of videos that I'll be creating so we can all learn in this, uh, so we can all learn these skills that are highly needed. So that's it for today. Remember to subscribe, follow along with these uh, videos. I have a lab set up guide that I'll show you. Set up this lab, it's very simple. Just do it and um, subscribe, otherwise I'll see you in the next video.